The countdown clock has started up again two days, less than two days until NASA once again looks to launch Artemis 1 31 hours to be specific. Hundreds of Langley engineers working the mission are also keeping close watch tonight. Anthony Sabella from our Scripps partner station in Norfolk, Virginia caught up with one of those NASA engineers for a deeper look. New launch attempts has called a scrub Two scrubs just called uh, a scrub. Summer wasn't kind to NASA with technical issues twice keeping its moonshot grounded. A few weeks later, a hurricane forced the Artemis 1 rocket off the launch pad entirely. But try and try again. Wednesday, the latest launch window is expected to open around 1 a.m. Emily Judd and hundreds of others at NASA Langley will once again cross their fingers. How hopeful are you that this is the week? Oh, I am super excited. Uh, you know, it will be great to see this rocket actually take flight for the first time. I think we've all been waiting very, very anxiously. Langley engineers have their fingerprints all over this mission, aiming to return humans to the moon for the first time in a half century. The uncrewed Artemis 1 will send the Orion space capsule around the moon and back to Earth. A test to make sure everything's working as it should before putting astronauts inside. The goal is to get the first woman and next man, the first person of color, onto the lunar surface in just a few years. This is the start of a new era of human spaceflight and human exploration. But a lot of Judd's work isn't so much on this mission itself, but what comes next, creating a way for humans to stay on another world permanently. Going from a weekish to two weeks to perhaps a month uh, or even longer as we prove out the technologies. How do we use the Space Launch System and Orion for Mars missions in the future? Other deep space destinations. First, we have to get there. A journey that could begin as soon as this week. This is the very first flight of this rocket, so it is a test. Um, and we're, we're going to be kind of stressing the systems to see how they respond and perform in these new environments.